Good. The final one is elliptic equations. Elliptic equations is actually pretty easy. I'm just going to、uh, give you a very simple example. Partial square u partial x square equal to one. Let's do that. And let's imagine our u zero is equal to u one equal to zero. So so let's set a fixed boundary condition. And now. The matrix we are having is one over delta x square, right? Minus two, minus two, one, 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 one. We used to have a one here and one here, but if you have the fixed boundary condition, these are going to disappear. Okay. So so basically, what we have is we have this matrix times u one all the way to u n minus one would be equal to a set of ones. And now let's. Take a look at how we solve that equation. We still have the same a except for i is equal to i of n minus one because the two boundaries are known. We only have n minus one unknowns, and、uh, we get the same a against delta x and、uh, do this. Then my solution u is just a, a backslash a ones of n minus one and one. Do do do. That's actually not the case because I need to set、uh, these two entries to zero. So a of one end is equal to zero. A of end one is equal to zero. Otherwise, MATLAB compares of the matrix being singular. So let's solve this again. Now MATLAB doesn't complain complain anymore. And let's plot、uh, point o one to、uh, what is my what is the length of u here? Yeah. Okay. So let's plot. Um, my x from two to end u. That's the solution of my parabolic PDE. So the parabolic PDE is uh, uh, saying that my two end conditions has to be zero, which is satisfied. Okay, and the second derivative is equal to one, which means the curve has to go like that. And uh, Uh, if the second order derivative is equal to one, doing some simple math, you are going to see the minimum should be about minus one eighth. Yes. So,、uh, is this parabolic or elliptic? Oh, sorry, this is elliptic. Sorry, this is solving an elliptic PD.、Uh, I I just、uh, I think I must have spoken wrong because the solution is a is a parabola, right? So this is actually an elliptic PD with.、Uh, Uh, the characteristic is that there is no single、uh, independent variable dimension that is special, right? There is no time dimension for you to convert it into an ODE. So just to solve the entire differential equation as an algebraic system. All right. Okay, and there is no initial condition, only boundary conditions. So, so here,、uh, this lecture we basically introduce the finite difference methods for solving. Uh, all kinds of equations, right?、Uh, this is probably the most、uh, flexible method、uh, you can use to solve different types of PDEs because as long as you can approximate the spatial derivative, you can basically do anything with it, right? The difficulty comes when you have a domain of,、uh, let's say, you have a domain like this, and、uh, it becomes increasingly difficult to actually treat the、uh, grid points near the boundaries. And uh, uh, for that kind of things, we need、uh, better methods. And also, finite difference is、uh, a bad idea when you have discontinuities appearing in the solution. So these are the two conditions that we would use other methods. But otherwise, just use finite difference. All right, cool. See you next week. So all the fancy people using finite elements are just overcomplicating the problem.、Really.